Bizarre Vlog 16. How y'all doing? Um, today's Friday. It's a good Friday. I'ma try to not be in the camo background because I'm not gonna have it for two weeks. I'm leaving Monday. It's gonna be lit. I got up early this morning. It's like something at eight o'clock this morning. Sun ain't even came out fully yet. So yeah, um, I don't know what I'm gonna get into today, but tomorrow Dominique is gonna be in the scene and Artavius will be in the scene as well. They're gonna be here around two different times tomorrow though. So I'm gonna try to get them in the vlog on tomorrow. But today, I think it's supposed to be pretty cool outside today. I was told the highs was 83. Or is that tomorrow? It might be. Let me check. I stand corrected. It's 70 degrees right now, but it's going to get 96 today. Ooh. I can't wait to go to New York. It's going to be so, like, cool over there. I already know. It's going to be chilly. Yes. Like, it feels real good outside right now. Like, I could be outside all day long. I could be outside all day. All day. I wouldn't flinch. If it was just if it was just degrees outside all day long. This this is the fall weather right here. I'll be outside all day long. So the um tonight today's a full moon. Today is Friday the 13th. With the full moon. They say it's been 13 years since we had a full moon on Friday 13. That's kind of crazy. 13 is a good luck number. So don't get it confused. I've done you, eh? You don't know, eh? It's an OVO thing, eh? <laughs> more life. Willie! <laughs> Shout out to my niggas that like more life. Bindi, bindi. With my finag. Selling crinac. In the bag. All right, so today I got breakfast. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like. Go on here, put this hot sauce on the goddamn eggs. You know you gotta have sauce on the eggs. Got to have sauce on the eggs. Then we got the rice, fresh out the rice cooker. Boy, look at them details. Boy, boy, boy. Yeah, so that's the vibe. So, I just want to have a conversation today. You know, I ain't had a conversation on my vlog ever. Never had a conversation. So, man, 2019. What a crazy year, man. Even thinking about it, vlogs, I don't even, when I do my vlogs, I don't even have an introduction. Like, you know, welcome to my just vlog. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna do one right now just for the hell of it. So I said it. Welcome to Majin Vlog 16. Hey, introducing your lovely host, David Morris. How you doing? <laughs> okay. Now that that's over. I finally got my shit together. Let me uh go ahead and pull up a chair. Man, I'm glad the seasons is changing, bro. Today is Friday the 13th. It says it's been 13, uh, 13 something since it's been 13 months or something like since it's been Friday the 13th last or some shit like that. It's crazy, man. We we live in a good time. Like 2019, 2020, 2030, 2050, 2080. That shit could be lit. I mean, all of this stuff. I mean, we already looking through history books, telling folks. <clears throat> I mean, people used to tell me all kind of stuff in history class. I'm like, I didn't believe it in, but like, yo, like, what the world, like. You really think the Civil War didn't have nothing to do with slavery? Like, we had a seventh grade teacher, Miss Daniels, said that shit. I'm like, this don't sound right. Well, the North had slaves too. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. But who was fighting for that shit, though? Who was fighting for that shit? You feel me? 
Like, nah, these niggas ready to die about this shit. It's over taxes. Nah, fam. Ain't nobody tripping about taxes like that. Folk getting pay raises. You got brand new cars coming out. They can just drop the new Galaxy Note 10 Plus. My homie, shout out to my homie Dom. He just topped that shit. Can't wait till he come through tomorrow so I can see what that shit look like. But, I mean, you got these AirPods, the Galaxy Buds dropping. Like, you. Now, in 2019, it ain't no, uh, no, really no artists dropping that much albums. I've been having chances to go back. I don't listen to every whole album. I don't listen to a, a lot of the Nas shit, a lot of his unreleased shit. I be listening to, uh, I mean, the, the Tang. Be fucking with motherfucking Cypress Hill, shit like that. Uh, Goody Mob. Been fucking with Outkast. Um, I just, that's all I listen to now. You feel me? Like, just that shit. Uh, Consequence, Old Kanye, Tyler Quali, Most Def. Shit like that, you feel me? Like, we get in the bag, but I do fuck with Griselda, cause they be, they be with them same vibes, you know what I'm saying? And when that sound come back, cause Griselda bringing that shit back, when that sound come back to the main front, it's gonna be some trouble, boy. You ain't got to go to the streets no more to get weed. If you want to, you can just fuck with CBD. People don't fuck with CBD, but it's, it's all good. Some people do fuck with CBD. A lot of people, I say more people fuck with CBD than, than don't fuck with CBD. You feel what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, they go, they go, they go, people going to flock to the safer shit once they know. But when they don't know no better and they feel like Superman when they take that icy cotton pill, they don't give a fuck, bro. But when they make that shit illegal because they can't make no moolah from that shit, they can make some money from CBD now. They could make money from CBD 10 years ago, though, because niggas weren't making no CBD. Niggas like, I'm barely getting weed, barely growing weed, nigga. I'm barely growing weed. I ain't got no time to grow no fucking CBD because CBD was illegal too then. You can't, I, this some CBD. Uh, you still going to jail. I'm selling CBD. Oh, you gonna get 10 years for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how many goes on and shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, now it seems to be crazy. But I told you, this year is so lit. Like, this has been the litest year, man. I mean, I've seen so many states just say, fuck it. We gonna make that shit legal. And when you make CBD legal, you might as well make TAC legal because you can't really tell the difference and you gotta test it and send it to the field and all this other shit. It's gonna take some days. So you really, once you make CBD legal, you make weed legal too. So, man. Yeah, man, them folk will get off them pills. Once they get off them pills, I give them a couple more years because them folk finna start cracking down on that shit, man. And then everybody just gonna be with the game. But when they went to the game, that smoking, the ganja, mother herb, bruh, everybody just gonna be chilling. You ain't gonna have no nuts, so folks walk around no more. That's why all these folks acting nuts. You wonder why all these folks acting nuts. I mean, you want them painkillers, boy? Them shits take all your little head. That shit take all your little control that you got to do yourself and just whatever I, uh, I'm just angry it'll just make you more angry uh, 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 I want to work harder it's gonna make you work even harder you'll be working so hard you never even worked that hard before uh, whatever you whatever your shit is but it ain't never you ain't never it's always in the train wreck though man it's always in the train wreck man so like if you know somebody that's addicted to that shit man Man, just tell him, man. Hey, man, stop popping them pills, bro. Just roll up some herb, bro. And if the herb ain't getting it to him, put some goddamn moon rocks in that bitch. If the moon rocks ain't getting to that nigga, put some sun rocks in that bitch. If the sun rocks ain't getting to that nigga, give that nigga a straight dab. If the nigga doing dabs and just doing them back to back. But nah, fam. You ain't going that motherfucking far is what I'm telling you. You feel me? When you, when you, when you, when you're smoking weed every day. Or to CBD, they say your tolerance go up. It's always higher tolerance shit out there. And then when you go to the highest tolerance, you be like, damn, this shit too goddamn strong, nigga. I just want to look my regular shit. Then you back at the beginning. That's how we always work. It ain't no damn uh, gateway drug. 
That's y'all cigarettes the gateway drug. Shit. When that shit have you feeling like somewhere not comfortable. When you ain't feeling comfortable. Or you ain't learning nothing new. Like on some psychedelic shit. Get that shit out of here, man. Like, I, I the far as I'll go is, is with that kind of shit, it's coffee, bro. Coffee. I, I do Kratom, and that's it. Energy, I don't need it. I don't want no 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 speed. I don't want no hype. I don't want no steroids. I don't want no goddamn uh, whatever they got. Injections, I don't want none of that shit. It make you feel like you're on top of the world. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci on all that. I'm Gucci on all of that. So, with that being said, I really hope y'all enjoyed this shit. I know I enjoyed it myself. Thank y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow when Dominique, Artavius, they'll be coming through. Huh? One. Love.